right, good day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I am your host, Toya. And today is our 2021 fictional book recommendations. And so the one I have for you today is called The Mirror Season. Um, it was written by Anne-Marie McLemore and read by Jennifer Gio Array. Araya. Um, that information will be below. And again, you guys know I use the Libby app which I get access through OneDrive, which I get access to through my library resource card. So get those library resources, put them to use. You pay tax dollars for them, so you might as well use them to your benefit. Listen to audios, okay? So the Mirror Season, the Mirror Season is a book about a young lady and a gentleman who were sexually assaulted. Okay, so I say that first because if that's something that you've experienced or something that you find traumatic to you and your personal experiences, you may want not want to listen to this. However, there is healing in hearing other people's story, even if this is partially fictional. Um, she said that the story was made up, it was fictional, but some of the things that happened in it actually happened in real life to her and the gentlemen that are currently going through the court processes to get that you know resolved so it can be healing to hear someone else's story especially because like i said this is called mirror season so it may mirror some of the feelings and some of the the issues that you may have had should you have gone through this if this is something you've experienced so i just wanted to give that word of caution just because like again i know there are triggers for some people and this might be one of them but within the story, there was beautiful. There were beautiful messages that were put in there. So there's the one that I'm, I speak of quite often, <laughs> which is communication. So when you're afraid to tell things to people, the things that happen to you, and you, when you have somebody else involved and you're afraid to tell them, that holding on to it does something to you. Okay, and. I know sometimes I need to take my own advice, you guys. I'm not perfect with this because there are situations that just happened recently, like within the past few weeks, where it was something that I wasn't telling my family. And then when I did tell them it really, to them, it wasn't a big deal and they were actually just waiting on me to say it. So, and that's usually what ends up happening in these situations when you're holding stuff for, away from other people, not wanting, them tell, not wanting to tell them for whatever reason you have in your mind. Sometimes you are denying them that information. Sometimes you are denying them the ability to counter what you're thinking. So it's always best to just speak up, use your voice, okay? Um, cause that's what it's for. That's what it was given to you for. So like I said, this young lady had this experience, but one of the beautiful things in this was that she had this gift from her grandmother to where if somebody came into the shop, uh, which they had a bakery, so they did a bunch of sweets. Um, if somebody came into the shop, she knew what they wanted, what would make their day or what make them feel better. Like what it was on a soul like level of that, what they needed and what the, the baked goods that she had could provide for them. And what's good about that and why I say that's such a beautiful thing because when you're able to connect to other people, it's almost like reading their minds, but it's not. Like people think to have telepathy is to read your mind. Like you just said in your head that the stars are um, brightly shining. You know, you got that song in your head. It's, it, it doesn't even come out like that. Um, they can come out as a feeling. Um, in her case, there were scents. So she had scents, smells of vanilla, smells of cinnamon, smells of sugar. And that's what told her what people needed and what they wanted. Um, so when you, when you get to a certain level where you can actually connect to other people around you to the point where you understand how they're feeling without them even saying anything, even though you might not know what happened. You can know something is going on and something is either really good about them or something is a little off. And you kind of get a, a feel of why, what it is that's off about them. Um, so I thought that was a beautiful gift that she got from her abuela because um, this is a Spanish book or a Spanish um, speaking young lady. <laughs> character that's that's the word i was looking for character <laughs> so it was a really beautiful story in that sense um uh, it also has some elements in there where the trees and flowers and plants and stuff were around her were turning into shards of mirror and 
I don't think she really understood that because sometimes we need to do what's called mirror work where um, I actually talked about this the other day where you look into the mirror and you you say good things about yourself to help you feel better but she had these shards of mirror everything ever all around her as she was trying to hide and keep away from everybody um, and I don't know if she even understood what the mirror shards were or why it went into the heart or they just never really spoke on it too much as to why it happened and what her understanding of it was. But like I said, the, the, the relationship her and this young man had and how it developed. And the thing I love, this is the other beautiful thing about it, okay? So this is the beautiful thing number three. The two of them. So you got this young man and this young lady who went through this sexual assault that was horrific for both of them and changed them. And they they kept getting into it. Like, they kept getting upset and angry and would go off on each other. But then they always came back. They always apologized. They always made up. So they always got to that point of peace again. Even though they kept happening, but they came back. And to me, that's so grown up. Even though this is a teen flick, which, again, it's a teen, teen novel. So you got to keep that in mind because she's a teenager, the main character who's um, basically narrating the story is a teenager, so keep that in mind. But the the fact that they were able to just keep coming back and saying, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't have acted like this. I shouldn't have reacted like this. I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, and let's still be friends, you know. So they kept coming back at that, and that's a really grown-up thing because there are a lot of grown-ups that can't do that. Even if they know they're wrong, they can't do that. They can't come back and say, I'm sorry, okay? I am sorry. Three words, they can't do it. Even if they were, or I was wrong, they can't say it. It's like it's, it's, like it's a stab to them or something, or they're just so embarrassed by it. And the thing is, people make mistakes all the time, okay? All the time, people make mistakes. And when you make them, you just acknowledge, okay, yes, this was a mistake. Yes, this wasn't something I should have done. You know, you acknowledge it, you take ownership of it, and then you move on. Because guess what? Nobody is perfect. Nobody. Not one person in this world is perfect. So that that's the story and the messages that I got out of it that I thought were very beautiful, very grown up. You know, the relationship that she had with her grandmother, even though her grandmother had passed, and the gift that her grandmother had given her. And that was just, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful story. So I enjoyed this one. I do recommend you listen to it. Um, and again, if you have those wounds that you are carrying on, sometimes it does help to listen to other people's stories. Sometimes that helps you gain your courage to tell your story and tell the truth about what happened to you. So that's my message for today. That is the book recommendation. Um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Have a wonderful Saturday.